So my mom already thinks I'm wild with my carnivore diet. Now she'd lose it if she found out I'm staring down raw dairy. Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Hampton. Let's talk about something intriguing, polarizing, and yes, a little milky. But before you go stocking up, let me be crystal clear. This video is not an endorsement. It's a deep dive, a doctor's eye tour of the science, the risk, the laws, and what naturopathic and carnivore circles are chatting about. Think awareness, not advocacy. I got my first taste of raw dairy visiting an Amish farm. I literally got on my knees, cow hollering, and they squirted fresh milk straight from the udder into my mouth. It was real, it was raw, and no lie, it was intense. Flash forward, now I'm asking, what's actually in that milk? Enzymes, nutrition, bugs. Here's a spoiler. There's more to this than farm day nostalgia. So what is raw dairy? Raw dairy is milk, cream, butter, or cheese that's never been pasteurized, which is the process of heating it to kill bacteria. Before the 1900s, pasteurization didn't exist, but it was added to protect public health. Today, brands like Miller's Biofarm often label raw milk for animals to sidestep regulations. And there are others like Mammoth Organic Pastures and local herd share operations in many states. Many are marketing directly to humans despite regulations. So from a scientific standpoint, raw equals unfiltered, unheated, biologically active. Now why is the meat and butter faithful pivoting to raw dairy? Number one, enzymes. Raw milk still has lactase and lipase, helping some digest lactose and fat more easily. Number two, probiotics. Those beneficial bacteria may support gut health. An extension of the fermented food renaissance in low carb circles. Number three, bioavailability. Anecdotally, vitamins A, D, and K2 are better absorbed in the raw state. Number four, antidotes. Reports of reduced bloating, clearer skin, and better recovery. And who doesn't love a good story? Number five, ancestral narrative. The argument. Humans consume raw dairy for millennia and so our bodies are built for it. But, and this is a big but, it's mostly anecdotal. Rigorous studies, slim pickings. So let's pivot. Raw dairy is unfiltered for a reason. Diseases can hitch a ride. Major pathogens include Listeria monocytogens. It can cause miscarriages or severe illness. E. coli 0157H7, more than tummy cramps. Salmonella enterica, fever, pain, dehydration. In fact, the CDC still logs outbreaks tied to raw dairy, sometimes dozens per year. Not every sip is dangerous, but for pregnant folks, immunocompromised patients and kids, it's a gamble. Pasteurization dramatically cut these infections in the 20th century. Not perfect, but it shifted the risk curve significantly. So raw dairy isn't inherently unsafe, but it's riskier. So what's the legal landscape in the US? This is where it gets sticky. Some states ban selling raw milk outright, like in California. Others permit unfarmed sales or herd share agreements. You own a share of the cow, so you're paying yourself. Federally, interstate sale for human consumption is illegal. Yet brands like Miller's Biofarm label it pet food in a loophole used nationwide. I'll overlay a map in this video. Green shows where it's legal, red shows where it isn't, and yellow where herd shares are a thing. So people in restricted states drive to farms, join buying clubs, or use these pet food workarounds. Many times they're consuming it regardless. Okay, so if someone insists on trying raw dairy, here's how to do it smartly. Again, not an endorsement. Number one, know your source. Ensure cows are healthy, clean, raised, and tested regularly. Number two, buy from reputable farms, ideally those transparent about bacterial testing and devoted to hygiene. Number three, start with aged raw cheese, which is less riskier after weeks of aging. Number four, store cold below 40 degrees Fahrenheit and consume quickly. Number five, track symptoms. Keep a stool or symptom diary. Remember, natural does not equal risk 
risk-free. Here's where I am. I haven't started raw dairy, yet I'm exploring it, researching it, and tracking any developments. I'm a data-driven doc, but I respect the viewpoints and experiences in keto, carnivore, and ancestral health communities. My takeaway, raw dairy could have benefits, but the risk and legal course can't be ignored. Knowing them empowers you to make informed decisions. For you, and your patients or audience. So let's keep this conversation going. Who here has tasted raw dairy? What did it feel like? Carnivore folks, is this part of your protocol or a side upgrade? Paleo or ancestral viewers, how does this fit with ancestral eating models? Drop your stories and questions in the comments below. And if you're here for evidence-based doctor level clarity, hit subscribe and ring that bell. Here's my final thought. Awareness raises the bar. Rather your team raw milk, team pasteurized milk or team I'll take the cheese. Let's keep meeting at the table with respect, curiosity, and science. So here are some raw dairy resources. Organic Pastures Dairy Company, legal in California. Mammoth Dairy, legal in several states. Local herd share farms in states like Pennsylvania, Vermont, and Texas. Keep in mind that these vary wildly in testing protocols and hygiene standards. So I encourage you to do your homework. This is Dr. Tony Hampton. Stay curious, stay willing to settle, and I'll see you next time.